the IBM personal computer, the original, the granddaddy of all PCs, 4.77 MHz of Intel power, up to 256 kilobytes of memory, 1-bit sound effects, and high-resolution 4-color graphics. This was not built as a gaming machine, but it was built for business and sheer power. The popularity of these computers led to countless clones, and if you were like me, in the 1980s, you'd have gamed on machines such as this one. The Nintendo Entertainment System A 1.79 MHz processor, 5 channels of sound, 4 kilobytes of RAM, 25 colors on screen at one time, the gaming workhorse. This is what every American child wanted in the 1980s. It had the best games, amazing graphics, and best of all, it wasn't overly expensive. Then there was me. My parents said we didn't need a video game system because we had a computer, but we couldn't play Super Mario Bros. or Contra on the PC. Sure, there were games released for this PC, and I drooled over the Mega Man discs that were offered in this classic magazine. Little did I know how bad it was. I played Ninja Turtles in glorious four-color ECGA, but it just wasn't the same. In fact, it was really terrible. But what if we could travel to an alternate reality, where Nintendo didn't release their own console, but instead released their games strictly on the IBM PC. What if we actually had these games to play today? Well, look at this and behold. Using the FC EUX emulator, we can load some special palette files and view what the glorious CGA graphics would have been if these games had been released on the IBM PC.